hey guys welcome back to my channel this week i'm going to show you how to make fried sui kao if you are new here consider to subscribe i'm going to start with chopping this kikama or seng kuang into small cubes actually if you have water chestnut that would be more ideal if you don't then you can use kikama like i do next will be dry cow ear mushroom or mu er in chinese I soak this for about 30 minutes with hot water. Once it softens, then you can chop it like so. Here I shred about 100 grams of carrot, some spring onions, and semi lean ground pork. Here I have shell and given the prawns, then I just cut it into small cubes. In a medium sized bowl, I have my ground pork on the side, then I add the prawn meat not missing them yet now we are going to marinate the ground pork and prawn meat first before mixing both meats 1 teaspoon of white pepper 1 teaspoon of Shaoxing wine 1 tablespoon of sesame oil and 1 teaspoon of sugar Three and a half tablespoon of oyster sauce, half teaspoon of salt. Mix the prawn meat with the seasoning. Then only mix the pork with its seasoning. Then combine both meats. Then add one egg. Mix egg with the meat. Then add the cup ear mushroom kikama and also carrot then combine everything together you really need to mix it together add 3 tablespoons of Shaoxing wine half teaspoon of white pepper one and a half tablespoon of corn flour and also I did add in about 3 tablespoons sesame oil which I forget to record. Once the mixing is done, you want to transfer to another bowl. Just scoop up the portion that you are going to use now. The balanced filling can be put into the freezer and you can have it later. And just remember that before you use it, make sure you take it out at least one hour earlier. Before start wrapping, uh, you want to add some chopped spring onion and it's going to taste so good. So my drill when I make sui kao is I will try to wrap at least two sui kao first. Then I will taste it to make sure that uh, the sui kao is delicious. Make sure you seal the sui kao properly. You have to squeeze it tight or add some water on the edge of the wrapper. You want to get ready a deep frying oil. You want to use a low medium heat and do not rush to fry this. So put about 2 to 3 sui kao at a time. Cook it by batches. So I used to use a medium heat to fry the sui kao and it turned out bad. The filling was uncooked and the skin was way too brown. So follow my tips, you want to cook it with low medium heat. So fry the sui kao until golden brown like so and wait until it's a little bit cool before eating it. So I hope you will try the recipe. If you like the video, please click like and share this video with your friends and families. And don't forget to check out luminali.com for the recipes. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!